हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू स्वीटी स्पीक ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू अनाउंस दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ सीरीज ऑन सिस्टम वेरी लॉग रेंडमाइजेशन इफ यू रिमेंबर वेन आई स्टार्टेड क्रिएटिंग कॉन्टेंट आई मेड अ प्रोमिस दैट आई एम गोइंग टू मेक वी एल एस आई लर्निंग वेरी ईजी टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड फ्री फॉर ऑल this was started with the motivation to help all vlsi aspirants especially from underprivileged backgrounds who are very passionate about vlsi but can't pay for the costly institutes or any places where they can't afford it is my promise that i am going to give you high quality content which will help you understand vlsi in very easy language and i am always open to feedback i request you to please put in the comment section how you are finding my videos if there are any points of improvements for me so that i can make my videos better and one more request i request you to please share these videos with all vls aspirants you know semiconductor is a booming field and we need a lot of young engineers to select vlsi domain if you are from electronics you can give it a thought to enter the vlsi domain if you have any doubts what is vlsi what are different domains how to enter and all those things there is a series on getting started with vlsi on the same channel you can go through it and i am sure if you really love electronics and you want to contribute to the future of the semiconductor technology you are going to be great and we need people like you in the semiconductors and i will be very proud if some of you can get benefited from my free content and enter vlsi industry now let's get started with this series which is system very log randomization first we want to understand what is randomization as the name suggests randomization it means i am randomizing something something is going to be random from the name we understand that now let's see what is this thing which is going to be random so randomization means we are randomizing the variables or objects in system very log in case you have not already gone through there is a series on system very log tutorial where we have discussed different data types in system very log those are the data types which will be variable and there is also a series in the same youtube channel sweetie speaks official we have a series on system very log oops if you have not gone through that already please go through that so that you understand what are the different data types variables and objects in system very log so this is what we are going to randomize variables or objects in system very log how does this help us if we are going to randomize these different variables you can generate random inputs for the ut for example your design under test is going to have some data it is going to have some address if you use randomization you can generate these random values you don't need to hard code don't need to write directed test case you can just use randomization tell it that you want to randomize this data variable you want to randomize this address variable and depending on what randomization constants you have set we are going to see what are those constants how to set it that we are going to see but depending on how you are telling it to randomize these variables this randomization will randomize your variables and you don't need to do a lot of manual effort this is how it is going to help you to generate the inputs for your design under test because you are you are generating these variables randomly there is a concept called as coverage in system very log we are going to start a series on coverage system very log coverage very soon that time you can start going through that series also but to just give you a gist functional coverage means how much functionality of the design under test you are covering 
code coverage means how much code you are covering like how much lines of code you are covering if there is an fsm are you covering all the states of the fsm if there are some branch instructions are you covering all the branch conditions all these things comes under code coverage functional means how much functionality you are covering code means how much code you are covering and this is very important because it gives you an idea of are you verifying your design completely that is why this coverage concept is very important in system very law and we need to achieve better functional and code coverage for which randomization is going to help you because you are going to generate random values all possible random values whichever you are interested in you are going to generate automatically that is how it is going to help you to give better numbers for the functional and code coverage the next thing is in design sometimes there are some corner cases corner cases means say uh, there are some conditions which we have not thought of but sometimes such conditions can exist say for example i have not thought of that some condition will be there due to which if this condition occurs my system say my laptop will hang and uh, such condition say when i am thinking the design is very complex that time i i am not able to know that this particular scenario can result in my system hang but due to randomization since you have randomized the variables it will automatically generate these corner cases and scenarios which we can't predict where the bug can occur because i don't want my system to hang so if there is any condition where the system is hanging i don't want it so this randomization is going to generate such scenarios and due to which we are going to find the bugs in the design this is how randomization helps us the next thing which it does is it also creates variation in test bench components if you have not already gone through we have also started a uvm series uvm basic series wherein we have a lecture on test bench components so i request you to please go through that also i am going to share the link for all those playlist in the description i request you to please go through this uh, system very log tutorial series system very log ops uh, then when we upload the system very log coverage series and the uvm basic series wherein you will understand what are this different variables object in system very log what is functional and code coverage and what are test bench components because randomization is going to help you to create the variations in this test bench components also which test bench components are we going to create variations in we are going to create variations in monitor monitor is the component which will monitor the output of your design under test we have discussed about this monitor component in detail in uvm basic series you can go through it but just for your uh, understanding i am telling you it is a component which will which will monitor the output of the design it sees the output of the design the second component is driver driver is something which provides input to your design because you need to drive your design under test you need to provide it some valid input so that it can generate some output driver is the component which does that then in your uh, test bench environment you will also have checkers which will check certain conditions in your test bench which will have some checks on the design under test all these components you can vary in your test bench in the upcoming lectures we are going to see how we are going to vary the test bench components and how it helps us in the verification for now since this is just introduction series remember these points now let us see the next why do we do randomization we do randomization because nowadays design has become very complex since the design has become very very complex the directed test are not enough you can't write directed test cases for all possible scenarios there will be thousands even 10000s uh, 20000s different types of scenarios you can't write directed test for that it's not feasible you don't have that much time that's why we need randomization the second thing is in randomization you can create constraint random test what is this constraint we are going to see in the upcoming lecture just remember we are going to 
create something called a CRT, a just constant random test, which means we are just going to automate the test cases. Whatever variables are there in the design, we are going to automate them. The next thing is in randomization, you can create test scenarios which are unpredictable but still realistic. There can be some scenarios, like we said, there there is a possibility that some scenario I have not thought, but it is causing hang in the system. But I have never predicted it. But it is a realistic. It can occur in the design. That's why it is realistic. Such kind of scenarios can be created with the help of randomization, which will help you find bugs in your design. That is why it is so important to create this scenario. The next thing is. This is one of the disadvantage of randomization, but it's okay. It's just during the initial setup, you need to take some more effort to create the environment. Why? Because in directed test cases, you are hard coding the input. You know what is expected output. Here you are randomizing. Since you are randomizing, you need to predict the output. Okay. Uh, since you need to predict the output, we do that using something called as golden reference model. So you need to create a golden reference module and predict the results. This is one reason why you require more effort. The second reason is you need to select the variables and the range of values for randomization. Whatever variables or objects which you want to randomize, you need to select which are those variables which you are going to randomize and what will be the different ranges Say for example, I want to randomize data, but data is 32 bit. I can't generate two rays to 32 scenarios. That is not a good way to randomize. So what I will do, I will say in the range of uh, say zero to eight, create 10, 10 different scenarios. Then in the range of um, nine to 16, create 10 other. Like this, I can tell to just select the ranges. So there is little effort to create the environment because you need to predict the results and select the variables and ranges which you want to randomize. Now, where are you going to apply the randomization? First thing is to understand you need to randomize the places where the decision changes. Say for example, there is an enable signal in chip. Until and unless the chip is not enabled, the functionality will not work. That is one of the decision points. Then in the MUX, in the multiplexer, you have SCL. Depending on the value of select, the output will, uh, you will get the output. So that can be one decision point. So wherever you have decision points in your PUT, those all places you should randomize. Like control paths. Like I told you, enable is one control path which is controlling your chip. Then select is one of the control path which is which is controlling the output of your MUX. These kind of things you need to definitely randomize in your design under test. The first thing is input data. Like we said, address and data are some of the uh, inputs which you have in your design. You need to randomize that. Then we need to randomize the configuration. In the real scenario, there are so many different configurations possible in your system. There can be low power mode in which some of the circuits in your, uh, say, laptop are switched off so that you can save power in which the performance will be, uh, will be compromised, but you will save the power. So this can be low power mode can be one configuration. Then uh, there can be a such way there can be different configurations. You need to test your design under all possible configuration because it is very important. And also consider one more scenario. Say, for example, you have a monitor. OK, so monitor will be connected to many different devices. OK, your CPU, then it will be connected to your keyboard, mouse, uh, this headphone, microphone, so many things. So con device configuration is also one thing, which means to which things your chip is going to be connected. You need to consider all possible scenarios for that also. These all things we need to randomize. The next thing which we need to randomize is delay. Say for example, I have a slave and master. Okay. Now I say whenever I have a request, I should get acknowledgement within five clock cycles. It means 
the acknowledgement can come any time between 1 to 5 clock cycles this is why we also need to randomize the delay this is just one possible scenario like this there will be a lot of specifications related to delay in your design under test and we need to test your design for all possible scenarios okay that is why you need to randomize the delays the next thing is status say for example you are transferring the data the data transfer can be successful or there can be some error say for example there is some crc error you should know what is the status and all possible status is all possible scenarios should be tested then errors also whatever are different error conditions errors can also occur due to a lot of lot of reasons whatever are different possible reasons all of that that should be tested that is why you need to randomize the error condition also all these things we need to apply randomization to i hope with this you at least got a basic idea of what is randomization why do we need randomization and where do we want to apply the randomization i hope these lectures are helping you and again one kind request please share this to all the lsi enthusiasts because we want to create a platform where we lsi education is free and open to all and also make it very easy so that we can shape the future of semiconductor industry i request you to please help me reach all the lsi the lsi aspirants out there thank you a lot and i am very happy that i am able to contribute to the semiconductor industry to so stay tuned to such good quality free content request you to please subscribe to sweety speaks official youtube channel see you in the next lecture thank you